Hello everyone, welcome back to the course MATLAB Basics and Programming and In-Depth Guide for Beginners. My name is Dr. Vaibhu Hindre and I'm a MATLAB professor for this course. Uh, in my first lecture, uh, I have given a brief introduction about this course MATLAB Basics and Programming and uh, I have just tried to cover a complete outline of the course, what you are going to learn in this particular course related to the fundamentals of the MATLAB and the programming aspects of the MATLAB. Uh, before starting any course, there is always a question in our mind that why should I learn MATLAB? Is there any career opportunities available in the MATLAB? And my this lecture is trying to give you some of the exposure towards the career opportunities for a MATLAB developer or for MATLAB engineer. So that it is trying to give you some sort of inspiration to uh, go through this particular course or to understand a MATLAB in more detail. So I'm giving some real life examples to show you the career opportunities for MATLAB uh, uh, developer in this particular lecture. So I will begin with uh, the first source that is the source which is uh, trying to give me the 10 most in demand skills required in industry and the source is taken from the world's famous technical ma magazine called as CIO and if I just click this link uh, related to the CIO magazine it will try to show me the 10 most in demand skills required for industry. So I look at to the site uh, for CIO.com and it will trying to give me the 10 most in demand technical skills required by the industry. And if I go through all the skills, you will find out there is a Python, which is most famous nowadays, followed by Java, cloud services, Linux, JavaScript. And if you go below further, you will find out Perl uh, and prior to the Perl uh, at seventh location, you will find out there is a MATLAB. So what CIO says about MATLAB is this is the older mathematics manipulation language with roots as far back as the 1980s is devoted to applied mathematics and used heavily in science and engineering. With big data dominating headlines, it's no surprise it's seeing a resurgence. So uh, MATLAB is a top 10 skill required from the industry purpose and that is the reason why should you, you should explore the MATLAB. This is just one example that I'm going to give it to you. There's one more uh, source uh, which will also try to show, uh, showcase that uh, why you need to learn this particular MATLAB and for that purpose I'll just go to my actual presentation where uh, there is a second source and the source is very famous and quite known to you is the LinkedIn. So in LinkedIn, uh, there's a blog which try to show you the skills companies need most in 2020. And if you go through these particular skill sets, you will find out that uh, the skill companies need most in 2020. Uh, you will find out the variety of skills available. And in that skills, whenever you are trying to touch to the domain of, uh, say, analytical reasoning or the domain of, uh, say, uh, all advanced technologies apart from scientific computing. When you take the term scientific computing, you have two different skill sets required for scientific computing. One is the Python and second is the MATLAB. So as per the sources, you will find out that there are variety of applications available for the MATLAB in almost every recent domain as per these particular sources. Now further to explore, uh, I could understand that these are the uh, MATLAB is coming under top 10 skills required by the companies for even for 2020. But are there any job opportunities available in the MATLAB? And if yes, uh, what kind of jobs I must get after learning this MATLAB? So uh, uh, simply uh, I'll go to my common source that is www.google.com and in search I'll just type the job opportunities for MATLAB and Google will try to show me all latest jobs available related to the MATLAB. So this is just a search I made on Google for job oppor opportunities for MATLAB and uh, Google shows always um, area wise or domain uh, domain specific related to a particular area as I belong to Pune in Maharashtra in India it is trying to show me the job opportunities available related to MATLAB in and around me. Uh, the biggest source of uh, employment the MathWorks itself 
is creating and you will find out so many jobs available uh, provided by the MathWorks related to the MATLAB as educational tech, uh, technical evangelist, customer success engineer. Uh, then the company like EASI is operating a job of battery management system for MATLAB developer. Tata Consultancy Services is the most famous IT com company which is also hiring uh, for MATLAB developer at Pune location. Electrical MATLAB expert, embedded software engineering with MATLAB background. Then uh, the Urban Pro is also giving some job opportunities. Uh, intercoms, once again MathWorks, uh, VGA Management Services and you will find out there are so many options available related to uh, the various job opportunities uh, of MATLAB. No doubt uh, you must have an expert in MATLAB related to one specific domain and then you could able to grab this particular opportunities. Uh, it is just showing the scenario of India but, uh, but uh, in fact if I look at a more clear aspects at global level I would also just search the job opportunities for MATLAB across the world and the source is say total jobs. So on totaljobs.com if I just provide a search related to the jobs available in MATLAB it will also try to give me a few more opportunities related to MATLAB across the world. So on totaljobs.com if I just make a search for MATLAB and I will find out as per the locations across the globe the number of job opportunities related to MATLAB you will find out in London there are 13, in UK there is 80. These are the live jobs opportunities available as on date and you will find out in Europe there are 90, in Southeast there are 50. So, so many countries you will find out and their job opportunities. Now, uh, what sort of jobs are provided uh, across the globe like a senior algorithm engineering in MATLAB, uh, the job offered by a red line group and you can look at the package Euro 35,000 to 55,000 per annum, principal senior system engineers algorithm MATLAB by outsource. You will find out so many uh, companies like SciTech uh, for antenna designing, Morrison International for system engineering MATLAB Simulink, Saxcon for system engineering, senior firmware engineer, uh, IC, handle, so many uh, companies they are offering the jobs with a very good package for MATLAB designer, MATLAB developer or MATLAB engineering. In biomedical field also you will find out the applications of MATLAB. So I hope I have tried to give you the brief uh, outcome outline of uh, why you should do this course or why should ex uh, why should you explore into the world of MATLAB because still MATLAB is a, a tool or is a skill set required by the industry and there are plenty of job opportunities available in the domain of the MATLAB. So uh, let us learn a MATLAB and try to grab the excellent job opportunities related to the MATLAB and definitely this course is going to help you to create a fundamental background related to MATLAB basics and programming and which you can explore further into the advanced domains available in the MATLAB. So that's all for this uh, introductory lecture. I'm eagerly waiting to see you into my course. See you into the next lecture.